Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe, and welcome to another episode in the Spoils of MVM series. And it's been well over a year since I actually released one of these, so the vast majority of you guys watching probably won't actually know what this series is. So essentially what this is, is I play through a tour of two cities on MVM in an attempt to get an Australian or just some nice rewards. And I record the end of every single mission just showing you guys what the rewards everyone gets are. And you know, maybe one day I'll end up getting a golden pan or maybe another Australian. The golden pan expectation might be a little bit too high, but we never really had any luck in the past, but I always thought it was fun. Uh, it just sort of cut out all the MVM gameplay so you guys can kind of see what rewards you get from playing MVM. The occasional robo hat drop as you just saw nether resonant get there um i also recorded a live commentary for the last mission in this so like you guys can hear my live reaction to whatever i get so honestly like if you guys like this series, do be sure to drop a like and let me know in the comments below because, as I said, I haven't made one of these in well over a year, so I'm not too sure if it will be too well received. But nevertheless, going on to the second mission now, this has got to be my favourite MVM mission. This, the last wave of this, when it's just three tanks, everyone goes flog pyro, gets them crits, everyone goes a bit crazy. That I just really enjoy that. So six boxes means, unfortunately, we're not going to get a rare item on that occasion. However, this person finishing their tour still Steven Light here with eight boxes in the first row, no rare items, and of course, no Pro KS or Australium for him on his last tour. So, uh, skipped the third person because I believe they'd already played through the mission. Uh, fourth person, again, no rare items. Fifth person skipped because they've done it, and the last person, Flexecution, manages to get himself a, a pristine robo part, which is actually pretty decent i mean they sell for not a huge amount but they do sell for like quite a bit and unfortunately for some reason i i had a glitch where i couldn't hover over the items to see what they were but a kill streak kit and a specialized kill streak fabricator so nothing uh too sort of crazy onto the third mission now i managed to get myself seven boxes nothing rare again so no pristine part no spec ks um, fabricator, unfortunately, but this person manages to get themselves a specialized kill streak charge and charge fabricator. Which, I mean, although it's not for the best weapon, it's still for a weapon before the final tour. So, they managed to get themselves a nice fabricator that could be used in a pro KS uh, fabricator. This next person, Nether Resonant, manages to get themselves a specialized kill streak scattergun fabricator, which is really interesting, actually. Uh, the scattergun is probably one of the most expensive fabricators you can get. Um, I believe behind the rocket launcher and the minigun, like, they're all pretty expensive, but I, I think the scattergun is the most, I'm not too sure, but this person finishing their talk manages to get themselves a specialised killstreak flying guillotine uh, fabricator, which honestly is probably one of the worst that they could get. It's just because the weapon isn't too popular as we move into the final tour of the mission. Now, I'm going to hand you over to the live commentary between me and my patrons that I was playing this MVM tour with, so I'll hand it over to past me. I think we got it. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Three, three boxes. Right, come, on, come, on. Oh, come on, be a protest. Right what are we gonna get? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, alright. Oh, wait, wait. Good, Scout gun, that's sick. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, casual. Oh, rip. Lugamorph and. You know what? Pro I mean, KS Scattergun hell, is sick. Yo, you know something? What? That's probably better than an SMG or a Blue Stock. It probably is if I complete it. Like, that's sick. I'm well happy. I'm happy. That's the best reward I've ever had from MVM. I could I could whip up a couple uh, spec fabricators if you need them or spec kits. Uh, I should I normally just buy them off Steam Market for like 50p, honestly. Well, yeah, I've just got plenty. Yeah, I just got to do Metro yeah. now and then I can do my tour. Three boxes is always is always a happy sight though. Like when you see oh, the yeah. three boxes. I mean, I'm happy to at least get a professional. Ooh, cause fire I axe. Really get them. That's awesome. Fire axe actually sell pretty well, even though fire axe isn't used. It's still fairly well sold. Ah. That's awesome. Thanks for playing, guys. No all right, thank you. But guys, thank you no all problem. so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts on this series in general down in the comment section below. Um, again, thank you to all my patrons who took part in this and actually played the tour with me. Really do appreciate it. I had a really great time. Thanks again for watching, guys, and peace.